<laughs> there we go, that's better. Amen. Glory. Yes, 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 yes. Another Tuesday. Praise God. Praise the Lord. We are so excited as we prepare, praise God, for tonight's Bible study. We're going to wait until everyone comes in, praise God, thanking and praising God. We see some entering in. Amen. And so we're thankful and grateful to you on tonight. We welcome the Tipido family as we see you've chimed, you've logged in, praise God. We're just really, really excited um, about this series um, of Bible studies that we will be having. Um, will be our faith. Our series will be faith lessons, faith lessons, and our topic on tonight, praise God, is faith works, faith works, and so our scriptures will be coming from Mark chapter four verses thirty through thirty-two, and Mark chapter eleven verse twenty-two through twenty-six. And then there'll be other scriptures, as, of course, as we always, we ask that you have your Bible, that you have pen and paper, praise God, so that you can get those nuggets Bible study. and those downloads from the Lord as he ministers to you on tonight. And so we are just so excited, praise God, we get this opportunity to do this and to share the word of God and the revelation um, that God has given us to share with you. And so through this word, we pray that not only will you hear what God has given us to share, but you will hear from God as he downloads a word of revelation to you as well for your life. Praise God. And so as you all enter into the room, we're thankful and grateful for you all. We had an exceptionally blessed day on today. Today was our uh, food distribution um uh, of Amen. course with our partnership with feeding america of kentucky's heartland and the city of oak grove kentucky and its community center and we're just so excited what god has given our hands to do <clears throat> and the support for of those that came out and a special shout out praise god to miss uh melissa lynch who is the director of the oak grove community center uh, for her help and for her support as always she supports every endeavor that the Christian House of Praise has and so we're just excited to be able to co-labor and work with her um, in the Oak Grove community also um, Jackie what is Jackie's last name Oliver Miss Jackie Oliver, she's the city councilwoman um, there in Oak Grove. She's always there to support us as well. Um, of course, Deacon Tipido, praise God. What will we do without him? Praise God. We're thankful and grateful that he always, he's always there. He's pastor's right hand man. And we thank God for his faithfulness. Amen. Praise God. And so Amen. as you all enter in on tonight. And if you would like to volunteer, yes. you can meet us there next month. On the 13th of October at 8 a.m., we start distribution at 9. Uh, we'd love to have you if you're in this area. We could always use volunteers. Amen. And like as always, we're taking food, non-perishable food donations as well as clothes. Uh, we give those out at the community center. Amen? Amen. That's what we do. We feed and clothe. Amen. Uh, Jesus said, where were you when I was naked? Uh, he wasn't talking about him. <laughs> He said, because if I was thirsty, I wouldn't have told you. Glory my, to my. God. <laughs> Glory to God. It's in your Bible now. That's what he said. He said it. But our, our clothing and feeding is to make sure we take care of one another. Amen. Amen. But we're going to get ready to jump into this Bible study tonight. We're talking about faith works. We're coming from Mark uh, 4, 30 uh, and through 32. And we're coming from Mark 11. 11, 22 through 26 will be the scriptures. I'm not sure. Can y'all see those scriptures out there? Amen. I, I pray that you can so that you can refer back to them, look them up, and uh, read them. Amen. But we're Amen. ready to jump in. Amen. And as we read um, our scripture on tonight, Mark chapter 4, 
verse 32. And this is a very familiar parable. It's the parable about the mustard seed. And this is what the word of God reads. And I'm reading the amplified version of this scripture. Um, and it reads Mark chapter 4, verses 30 through 32. It says, And he said, How shall we picture the kingdom of God? Or what parable shall we use to illustrate and explain it? It is like a mustard seed, mm -hmm. which when it is sown on the ground, even though it is smaller than all the other seeds that are sown on the soil, yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all the garden herbs, and it puts out large branches so that the birds of the sky are able to make nests and live under its shade. And then we'll go to Mark, excuse me, Mark chapter 11, verse 20 through, 22 through 26, and I'm reading the Amplified Version. And it reads, it says, Jesus replied, have faith in God. And with inference, it says constantly. Mm. Have faith in in God constantly. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is going to take place, it will be done for him. For this reason, I am telling you, Whatever things you ask in prayer, believe that you have received them and they will be given to you. Whenever you, say, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. In other words, drop the issue and let it go so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your trespasses or your transgressions, excuse me, and wrongdoings against him and others. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you your trespasses. And the word of God is blessed. Amen. Father God, in the name Amen. of Jesus, Lord, we pray now, Father, that yes, you would do, bless Jesus. your word, Father God. Yes, but God. not only your word, Father God, that you would touch your people, Father God, that are yes, reading, God. reading and receiving this word, Father. Yes, we Lord. pray now, Father God, that your word will go forth with conviction and authority, Father, yes, and that your people will be glorified yes, and your people will be edified and your name will be glorified. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. 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 On tonight, our series um, is faith lessons. So we'll be we'll be discussing a lot of various faith lessons throughout this series. Praise God. And our topic on tonight is faith works. And of course, our scriptures are coming from Mark chapter four, verses thirty through thirty-two, and Mark eleven twenty-two to twenty-six. You know, of course, y'all know I like to define words. So the first thing I would like to start out with, since this is the beginning of our series, is what is faith? What is faith? Um, faith, of course, we know it has many meanings. You Amen. know, many of us, when we talk about being in the faith, you know, we're talking about our salvation. Um, many people, you know, they may reference religion or their denomination as their faith. Um, it can also mean faithfulness. Praise God. It also means absolute trust. Mm. Now, if we were to go to Luke chapter 7, just to kind of show you when I say absolute trust, because that's what God desires for us to have is absolute trust, absolute faith in him. So let's turn our attention to Luke chapter 7 for just a moment. And in Luke chapter 7, I'm going to just give you a little overview. Um, there was a centurion whose servant was sick. And so what he did is he sent his servants to go out and to ask Jesus to come to heal his servant. 
And so they pleaded with Jesus. When they went, they met Jesus. And they went out and they pleaded with Jesus on behalf of the servant. And they let Jesus know he was a good servant. They told him of all the good works he'd done, everything that he had done, um, that he had built the temple, and how much um, he loved God, and all of these wonderful things about this servant. And so what happens is Jesus goes with them. And then when you get to verse 7, this is most important. I love this part in verse 7. When he gets there to the centurion, what the centurion says to Jesus is, he said, I didn't consider myself worthy to come to you. Mm -hmm. He sent his servants. He said, I didn't feel myself worthy to come to you. He told Jesus, he said, but just speak a word. Come on, somebody. Just say, but just speak a word. We're talking about faith works on tonight he said but just speak a word and my servant will be healed now that's absolute trust that's absolute total faith in jesus christ it also means in accordance to hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 it means confident hope you know, the Bible tells mm. us that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So faith is also confident hope. Faith is a gift from God that he gives to us. Why? Because he has and he is saving us. And you can find that in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Also, faith is total dependence on God. Faith is a willingness to do his will. So it's total dependence on God and it is a willingness to do his will. Faith is total dependence on God mm. and a willingness to do his will. So you can't just depend on God, but don't do something because you have to have faith and you have to have some works because faith is not just something that we put on a show for people. It's total dependence on God and a willingness to do his will. Faith is a total dependence on God and a willingness to do his will. Faith is complete and humble obedience um, to God's will. And it's a readiness to do whatever he calls you and I to do. Whatever God says do, do. Amen? So the amount of our faith, let's go to Luke 17. Uh, verse 5 through 6. This is Bible study. So y'all know we flip pages here. Amen. Get your Bibles yes. out. So in Luke chapter 17, verses 5 through 6, this is what he says here. He says, And the apostle said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had gained, if you had faith, as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto this sycamore tree, mm. be thou plucked up My God. by the root and be thou planted in the seed. That faith is talking. And it should obey you. My God. So again, it's not about the amount of faith that's important, but it's the fact that you have genuine faith. You have to have genuine faith. And the amount of faith is not important, but you've got to have the right kind of faith. See, because everybody don't have the right kind of faith because it depends on who and what is the object of their faith and what their faith is in. If their faith is in their money, then they don't have the right kind of faith because money can fail you. If their faith is in um, humans, mama, daddy, you know, um, unfortunately, sister, brother, friends, you know, those people can fail you. If your faith is in your job, you know, your job can fold, so your job can fail you. But your faith has to, you have to have the right kind of faith. And your faith has to be in the all-powerful and almighty God. So on tonight, praise God, as we continue to discuss uh, faith, know that your faith has to be well-founded. Mm -hmm. Your faith has to be well-grounded. And your faith has to be well-positioned. Because faith, your faith can impact your life significantly. So we have to make sure that our faith um, is in the right place and make sure that we have, of course, the right kind of faith. Amen. 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 
Look, y'all, you know how your pastor do. I'm, <laughs> I'm multitasking. I'm, I'm over here texting and talking to people. Praise God. That's good. Did y'all get that? Faith does something, y'all. Yes. Faith is an action word. And it's more than just saying, I have faith. Uh, Jesus said, show me your faith without your works. Or show, me your, or show me your works without your faith. They go together. Faith is an action word. A lot of people say they have faith, but they don't exercise Come what on, they sir. say they have. Faith is something that has to be exercised. It's something that has to be displayed. I love this. I love, we talking about, this is what the whole Bible is about. Don't you know the Bible said that you are saved by grace? Uh-huh. But keep going. And it says, but through, but through faith. Through oh, faith. my God. Yes. The reason why so many people uh, come to church or wherever, in the middle of the street, wherever you get saved at, the reason why so many people did doubt their salvation is because their faith didn't believe what they said. Come on, sir. And any time your faith does not believe, it's called doubt. My God. And God does not work in the doubt business. He works in the faith business. Oh, this is good. This is good. I'm going to show you tonight. We teach this now. Faith does three things. Faith speaks. Faith does something. And faith gives something. I'm going to show you tonight. Come on, Pastor. Faith always. She just read the scriptures to us. Don't you know the centurion what did he do? He spoke. Yes, he oh, did. Come on, come on, somebody. Yes. Then what did he do? He sent his servants. He does something. And then what did he have to do when he met Jesus? He had to give respect. He had to humble oh. himself. I'm talking to you tonight. I'm pastor. talking to you tonight because faith has to do something. It does three things. It speaks. Faith sees. Yes. Faith speaks before it sees it. Come on, sir. Mm. Faith speaks before it sees the manifestation of whatever it's talking about. See, when you're not really in faith, you may say something, but if your heart is in doubt, that's not faith. She just told us tonight, your faith got to be well-rounded and your faith got to be grounded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your faith got to be something. I stand on this. Nothing moves me because my faith says so. My Come faith on. in God has to be at such a level that whatever he say, yeah. I can say. Come oh, on, sir. Come, come on, on, sir. This is good. Whatever he say, Come I can on. say. Not because it's me, but because it's him. And if he said it, I know it can come to pass. Yes. I want to show you tonight yes, the reason sir. why a lot of our prayers aren't answered. Come on, It's because they're not faith prayers. Come on, sir. <laughs> he said, no, Lisa, me answer no ghost busting. No, no, God don't deal in the ghost busting. He deals in faith. When you, when you ask God for something, the Bible, we're going to show you tonight. He said, when you ask, ask without wavering. Without wavering. Ask without doubting. Come on, Pastor. Ask without being on the curve. Yes. He said, ask, be bold when you ask. Stand in faith. And the, pray, the prayers of faith are simply this. Mm. Come on, sir. The prayers of faith are simply this. Me saying what he said. That's it. See, whenever your prayer is his will, it's going to be answered. Yes, sir. <laughs> whenever your prayer, because you're praying the prayer of faith, yes. whenever your prayer is his will, it will be answered. Amen. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. See, I'm going to show you tonight when you do pray, you got to ask yourself, you got to ask yourself three things. Is this his will? Or my will? Ooh. Is this his will or my will? Because if it's his will, it will be done. Then the third thing you got to ask yourself is, is this my will and his will? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because, see, we have a will that's separate from God's will. Jesus even had it. Come on, y'all. Remember when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane and, and it was time for him to go to the cross? He said, Father, if it be thy will. Remove this cup from me. What was he doing? He was praying to the Father. But what he wanted to pray, like we all should pray, he wanted to pray that whatever he was asking God was in God's will. Ooh! And before the Father could even answer, Jesus said, knowing the Father's will, nevertheless. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said, nevertheless, Father, thy will be done. Yes, sir. What, be, what was he saying, Pastor? He was saying, I don't want to do this. But if it's your will, mm -hmm. I will. 
Come on, son. If it's your will, I will. And when and when he said that, he knew what time it was. Glory to God. This is good. Right here in Mark 11. This is where we started at tonight. Mark 11, chapter, chapter 11, verses 22 through 26. Lady Ridley read them to us. I want you to pick out something right here. 11, 22. There's four things going on I'm going to show you tonight. It's the person of our faith. It's the principle of our faith. It's the prayer of our faith. And it's the problem of our faith. Yes. Oh, yes. It's right here. It's right in, it's right here. Right in these verses right here. Mm -hmm. Mark 11, 22 through 26. Mm -hmm. What's the person of our faith? Verse 22. Have faith, faith in, in God. God. That's the person of our faith right yes, there. Sir. Have faith in God. If you, if you need any help right there, the person of our faith, who is your faith in? It's in God. What's the principle of our faith? Well, you slide down to verse 23 and look what he says. I'm reading the King James Version. He said, for verily I say unto you that whatsoever you shall say, <laughs> oh, come on, what I tell you, faith says something. Yes, he sir. said, whatever you shall say unto this mountain, be thy removed and cast into the sea and shall, oh, you see the shall again? And shall not what? Doubt in not your doubt heart. In your oh my God. <laughs> I'm saying to the mountain, get out of my way. Yes. He said, and not doubt in your heart, but shall, see it again? That's the fourth shall in that one verse. Mm -hmm. Shall what? Believe, oh, this is it. On, Those sir. things which you say. Some people pray and don't even believe what they say. That's it, sir. Oh, my Come God. On, sir. Some people pray and don't even believe what they say. He said, if you would do that, then he said, it shall come to pass. Come on. My God. That's the fourth shall in there. Whatsoever you say it, it shall. So the principle of faith is this right here. Believe and you shall receive. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Ah, The prayer of faith is simply believing and receiving. It's in verse 24 mm -hmm. right there. It mm -hmm. says, therefore, I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire when you pray. Mm. What this mean? Can I ask for anything? Can I just can I just throw anything on the table? Whenever you pray, you have to pray his will. What is his will concerning your life? So what what is the prayer of faith that I believe I receive them? Yes. Mm. That I believe that I receive them even before I even pray. And what's the problem of our faith? Mm -hmm. Did y'all get that? The person, the principle, the prayer and the problem. Here's the problem. 25 and 26. Mark 11, 25, 26. But when you stand praying, ah! he said, forgive. Come on, Go ahead and put sir. your brakes on right there. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you believed what you said. You, you, you was praying real good. You knew who you was praying to. You was praying to the Father. And, and you knew the principle. You knew the prayer. But now you got down to the problem. He said, and when you stand praying, ah! Put your brakes on. He said, forgive if you have ought against any. He said, go ahead. And, let's go ahead and clear the air right now. She said, because when you come to me, you need to clean your slate. Mm -hmm. See, that's what faith is all about. Faith is when I go before him, I can't ask nothing unless my slate is clean so that I may receive what he has for me. A lot of times when I pray, I pray that, Father, you would cleanse our hearts and minds out mm -hmm. so that we can receive what it is you have for yeah, us. For because us. we got a lot of junk sometimes in our mind, in our heart. And if God would clean those areas out of us, we can receive the fresh, the, 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 the new, the, the anointing that he has for us. Amen. So here's the problem of prayer. The problem of prayer is, verse 26, I skip, I skip the rest of it, but if you do not forgive, ah, hit your brakes, neither will your father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Mm -hmm. He said, go ahead and clean the slate because yeah. you're coming to me asking for something. But he said, first, let's go ahead and get everything cleared up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glory mm -hmm. to God. Yeah, I got to forgive that person that did that to me. I got to forgive the person that I did something to. Hello, somebody. And he said, go ahead and clean the slate. Go ahead and forgive yourself so we won't fall into the problem. The problem is unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. So and when we forgive, we, when we forgive, we can receive from him. Because just like we need to forgive, we also have been 
forgiven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the person of our, of our prayer, the person of our faith is God. Amen. The principle is it shall. Anything he say, it shall be done. Oh my God. You see them four shells in there? It shall be done. If he said it, it shall come to pass. What's the prayer of faith? Believing that I receive. Come on, somebody. And what's the problem of our faith? The problem is unforgiving. Oh, Ooh, we talking about faith tonight. And before faith can work, we got to clean the air. <laughs> we got to clean the slate. We got to get right. Faith don't just work because you want it to work. The centurion's heart was right. Oh, glory to God. The centurion's heart was right. I told you on Sunday, Joseph's heart was right. right. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why Joseph went through all of the calamities that he went through. But the Bible said his integrity remained true. Glory to God. Amen. You know, again, we were just talking about in brief, and I, I love the fact that Pastor went through those praise. I was trying to get him. He talked so fast, so amen. Um, but nevertheless, you know, our faith has to remain alive, and our faith has to continue to grow. If our faith is not growing, then there, that means we're not maturing, and we're not growing in grace, yes. and we're not growing toward God. You know, the Bible says that we go from faith to faith. So yes. that lets us know that we can grow, praise God, in our faith. You know, um, uh, the Bible talked about, you know, faith being as small as a mustard seed. Yes. Barely can see it, but when you plant it in the ground and when you water it and when you nurture that thing, praise God, the Bible lets you know that it grows up. And it gets so big that a bird can perch on that tree. Mm. So that lets you know that the impact of your faith, you know, your faith can go from small to medium to large to extra large to extra, extra large. It can increase and your faith can grow. The Bible tells us in Romans uh, 12 and 3. Let's turn our attention there. Romans 12 and three. This is what the word of God reads, and I'm reading the King James Version. It says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man this that is among you, uh -huh. not to think of himself more highly Come than on. he ought to think, well, but to think soberly. Come on, sober. According as God had dealt to every man mm. the measure. measure of faith. Come on, somebody. So God has given each and every one of us a, a measure. measure of faith. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this so, is good. And so, because a lot of times <clears throat> we read the scripture earlier where they ask, increase our faith. Well, God has given you a measure. Mm -hmm. There ain't no it. more faith. Work, work your measure. Yes, he dealt every one of us a measure of faith. Here, use some faith, use some faith, use some faith, use some faith. And God is not giving out any more faith. You got to work your faith. Mm. It's important that you work your faith. And we know, praise God, that when we work our faith, um, that, you know, we even though we know we don't need more faith, we got to work it, praise God. Should I say something on that? Yes, sir. You said he, he deals he dealt with each one he, of us he, a measure of faith. I like to liken it to playing spades. I, yes. I know y'all don't probably play spades. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all, y'all, y'all Christian folk, y'all. Yes. But I liken it to spades yes. because in in the game of spades, uh, depending on how you play it, everybody uh -huh. gets thirteen cards. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. same amount Every, of cards. Everybody gets the same amount of cards yes, that's sir. playing. Yes, <clears throat> and everybody's hand out of those thirteen cards are different hands. Yes, sir. Whether we like it or not. That. And it does not matter what's in my hand versus what's in your hand. That's it. When we play the game, I got to play what the hand That's in which I'm good. dealt. That's and, it. And, and, and I may have a possible. I may have some I may have some I may have some bona fide books here. I may have uh -huh. some possible, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, I have to play the hand that I'm dealt. Yes. And even though it may not be the best hand. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked about increasing our faith. Uh -huh. I can still make something out of what's been dealt to That's me. That's right. Oh, this That's is right. Good. This so is in good. other words, when you play your hand, and if you play it right, then you're going to watch it grow. Mm. You're going to make those books, and you may make even more. Some that you didn't even think you had, you'll make. Now, depending upon how you play the space, some may say it's sandbags. I don't play sandbags. I play to, to keep. See, take, and keep. So if I make the book, a book is a book. I ain't playing no sandbags because I'm not losing she nothing. She don't play sandbags because 
and, and playing that, you have to be at your hand right. Yes. And see, when we're talking about faith tonight, and I, I, I don't want to throw you off by liking it to a card game, but I mm-hmm. want you to understand when it comes to faith, you have to, you have to trust the faith at the level in which you at. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's because it. It, because I may make a whole lot of books that yes. we're talking about in, in cards, but the thing is, did I have faith to even believe? That's the reason why we play You Got to Bid It Right, because when it comes to faith, mm-hmm. everybody don't have the same measure. measure. Oh, my God. And God knows with some of us, it's hard for some of us to trust him. So when we first start out, we got boat faith. What are you talking about, Pastor? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We won't get out the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We won't get out the boat. And God said, that's all right because your faith is there yes. in the boat. Yes. You trust the boat to sustain you on the, on water. the water. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. He knows that some people got more faith than others, and they'll stand up in the boat. Come on, somebody. Yeah, somebody got some stand-up <laughs> faith. And then you got others that have some get-out faith. Come on, somebody. Come on, that will step out on a thing, and their faith now is not on the boat sustaining them their faith is on God oh come on that he will sustain them on the water yes mm-hmm. now is there anything wrong with three those three kinds of faith no it's not and don't you know boat faith can increase to water faith ah, now the next thing you know you walking on this thing baby and that's how God is with us when I first started giving I had boat faith <laughs> I gave as far as I could see no more, no less. But after a while, my faith increased and God let me know, you're not giving what you got no way. You're giving what belongs come on, come on. to me. Woo! Glory to God. Once I knew I was giving what belonged to him and he was the supplier of all my needs, my faith increased and I stepped out of the boat. Yes, Woo! Glory yes. to God. My faith got out the boat, y'all. And when my faith stepped out the boat, God said, now you can give because you're giving off of me, not off of you. Woo! He said, but as long as you're giving off of you, you'll stay in the boat. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to get some water walking faith, come on now. Come on. <laughs> if you want your faith to increase past the boat, <laughs> good God Almighty, you got to step out. Yeah. You got to trust him to sustain you outside of the boat. Woo! You mean on this water? He said, I did it before. I can do it again. <laughs> That's Glory right. To God. And so when you do that, praise God, then you'll see your faith grow. That's and right. And not only will you see your faith grow, but you will grow from, um, from faith to good, great faith to greater faith. Mm-hmm. You know, in spades, you got a partner too. Yes, you do. And in faith, we got a partner. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got God. God. We've got God. You know how we respond and how we receive um, by faith God's word. Because how many of you know we got to receive his word by faith? Whatever God says, we've got to receive that word by faith. And so when we receive that word by faith in and for our lives, that will determine, you know, that 30, that 60, and that 100-fold blessing that we decide. Mm. Because a lot of people are believing God for some things, but because of how we um, respond and how we receive that word of God by faith or in faith will determine in in turn the measure or the amount of return. Mm. It's just like when you invest. Yeah, come on, come on. You remember when the when the Lord when He gave them the talents, He gave them uh, one. Um, one gave He gave them five. He gave one uh, two, and then He gave the other one one. And you know, the one that had the five, he went and he invested his, praise God. And then the one that had the two, he also went and invested his. But the one that had the one talent, because he was not sure, Mm -hmm. and he didn't have faith, he doubted. doubted. So he buried his in the ground. Well, Mm -hmm. the one that had the five, he doubled his. Mm -hmm. He got that hundredfold. Mm -hmm. The one that had the two... He got doubled his. He got a hundredfold on his investment. But the one that had the one that buried his he family, hid it. he hid it. Ooh. He didn't get anything in return. My and God. God told him a wicked servant. My God. Glory God to called God. him 
a wicked servant. So God, of course, he desires us to follow him by faith, praise and God. And he took the one from him. Yes, he mm. did. And See, God said, if you ain't going to use it, you'll lose it. My God. <laughs> if you're not going to use it, you'll lose my it. God. He took it from him. Yes. <laughs> Glory yes. to God. You know, the storms of life and situations come up and, you know, it, it causes a lot of anxiety. It causes a lot of worry. You know, we're in this time when we're dealing with the pandemic, people losing their jobs, people passing away, health challenges after the effect of this virus. You know, we're still right now, you know, in just in total pandemonium. And things are not certain, praise God. So when, you know, but regardless of the difficulties that we face, we have to resist the fear. Mm. We have to resist the fear and know that Jesus cares and have faith in God. Yes. The Bible told us in Mark chapter 11, verse 22, have, have faith, faith in, in God. God. So we have to make sure that we have faith in God. And then what we do is we confess our need to him. Praise God. Not only our need that we have our need to God and we have to confess our need for God. Mm. But we have a need that we have that we tell God about, but we also have a need for God. And we have to trust that he cares for us. We know he cares for us. Um, you know, again, like Pastor read in Matthew chapter 11 and 22, it says, have faith in God. Why? Because God can do anything. Mm -hmm. God can do anything and God will answer your prayers. But you've got to have faith. And Pastor just spoke about the prayer of faith. Mm. And he told you about the prayer of faith being that the four P's of faith is the person, the principle, the prayer, and the problem. Mm -hmm. So it. we have to make sure that we have faith, that we trust God, that we say what his word says about whatever is going on in our lives. And then we've got to expect victory. That's right. We have to have an expectation that God's going to do it. Just because God said it, that's enough for me. You know, one thing about faith is what we put our faith in. Mm -hmm. A lot of people put their faith in their finances or, or simply their job. I uh -huh. know that they're going to make that direct deposit uh, after I've worked two weeks. And I don't even think about it because I work two weeks. I know that they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I got faith that they're going to do it. Yes. But what if they don't? What happens? What if they yes. don't? You know, some people put their faith in other people. Mm -hmm. uh, I've trusted such and such for so long that my faith is in them. Yes. That's the reason why when we talked about increasing your faith, God knows that we start out with the measure and we're all at different levels. Yes. But when you walk with him for a while and you stay in him for a while and he continues to show himself faithful, faithful. your faith in him increases. Why does your faith increase that they're going to make that deposit? Mm -hmm. Well, I've been working on the job for 10 years and they've always made it. Yes. So now I just, by, by faith, I believe they're going to do it because uh -huh. they've been doing it for 10 years. Well, that's how our faith should be with God. He's yes. been supporting me. He's been carrying me. He's been breathing the breath of on, life Pastor. in me on, for however many years I am old. So I should know that my faith is in him. Yes. Y'all, my faith should be way more in him than that company I work for, than that than that person that I love even, because he's been doing it for all these years or for uh, for a very long time. That's right, because we need to have faith in God. We have to take a faith a faith stance, and I don't have to take a faith stance, but we got to stand in faith. We got to walk Ooh, in faith. We yes. got to talk in faith. We got to live in faith. Yes. Your faith, as Pastor said, it has to be expressed. You have mm. to express it, and expression is an action. Yes. So your faith must express itself in action. Prayer and faith, praise God, works together. Pastor, just let us know that. So, and, and understand this, people of God. Prayer does not cause faith to work. Ooh, my God. Hear what I'm saying now. Mm. Prayer does not cause your faith to work. But faith causes prayer to work. Mm. Somebody ought to hashtag that right there. That's our, good. Our yeah. bishop, our that's bishop. Good. I'm going to repeat that. Can somebody hashtag that? That's Pastor good. Said? Whoa, that's good. Prayer does not cause faith to work. Mm. Yeah. Faith causes prayer to work. That's right. Your faith will cause your prayer to work. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's not the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your faith. <laughs> 
Come on, Glory sir. to God. Your faith will cause your prayers. You know what faith is, though, really, uh, just from a cooking standpoint? Faith is the active ingredient. Come on, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Faith, faith is the yes. active ingredient. Faith, I'm talking about when you mix everything together and you put everything together, once you add faith, oh, come my on, God. <laughs> oh, my God. That makes That's what makes the cake rise. Oh, come, come on. on. Come <laughs> on. Come <laughs> that's on. the active ingredient. Faith is what... Faith is, and faith, when she said uh, faith makes your prayers work, one of the things about prayer, when we go into prayer, we got to go into it in faith. <laughs> I got to go into it believing, not seeing. That's the reason why the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 1, faith is, my God. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> it said, now faith is the substance. Faith is a substance that only becomes evident, oh my God, through your prayers. Through your prayers. Yeah, yeah. Faith is a substance. You ever read it? It's right there in your Bible, Hebrews 11, Hebrews and, 11 1. and 1. It says faith is a substance, and the substance becomes evident. Oh, I got to share this with you. Do you remember the uh, the 10 leopards uh -huh. that, that Jesus yes, healed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, faith is an action word, y'all. Faith, 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 ha you have to move out on faith. When Jesus healed the Come 10 on, leopards, uh, when he healed them, they weren't immediately healed. No, no, no. Jesus asked them, he said, what do you want from me? And they said, we, <laughs> look at us. We, we want to be healed. They had leprosy. And Jesus says to them, these are his words to him. This is how faith works. Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. Now, they weren't healed. They could have uh -huh. said, no, we want to be healed. No, he said, go show yourself to the priest. Why yes. is this important? Obedience is Come better on. than sacrifice. sacrifice. As they moved towards the priest, what did they see? They saw their healing manifest. Oh, my God. They were mm -hmm. walking toward the priest. They said, my God. They hadn't even got to the priest. But because of their obedience, Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. Oh, glory to God. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. your faith has made you Whole. Yes. My God. They said, we ain't whole. We ain't healed. He said, go show yourself to the priest. Yes. And before they could get to the priest, they recognized they were healed. And you know the story. Mm -hmm. one, uh, 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 one of them turned around and ran back and said, my God, thank you. He went back and thanked God. And Jesus said, didn't I heal 10 of y'all? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm -hmm. This is how faith works. So when you, we got to be obedient. I won't always see. Come see, on, that's sir. what faith is. See, yes. you got to see it before you see it. Yes. Well, when do I see it at first? In my mind's eye. Woo, I see it by faith. My God. <laughs> Glory to God. I came home one time. This is my testimony. I told my wife, God said I will get promoted this year. Uh -huh. Ooh, glory to God. She was shouting. I was shouting. Glory to God. We was happy because God said it. But when the promotion time came, my name wasn't on the list. Come on, Pastor. But I never stopped. God, it, God had dropped yes. it so in my spirit. I said, but God said this year. Uh -huh. And I continued to proclaim what God said. Not what I said, but what God said. And even though my name wasn't on the list, I kept on, saying God. what God said. Yes. I said, God yes. said this year. They said, well, it's too late for this year, sir. The list has already come out. See? And your name is not on it. Uh -huh. And I kept professing, but God but said. God said it. <laughs> they came to my office one day and brought me the list. They said, your name mm. is not on it. My God, this Come is on, good. Sir. But later in that same year, another list. Oh, see, see, see God has another list. <laughs> my God. And my name was on God's yes. list. Oh, glory to God. See, you got to say what God says. Say what God says. And you will see it before you see it. My yes. God. You know you saw that house before you lived in it. You know you saw that car before you before you bought it. You know you saw this or that before you got it. You got to have your faith in God. In God. Oh, my God. Amen. Glory to God. He'll do it. You he know, will our, do it. Our former bishop, remember what Bishop Holcomb said that um, faith is the gas, but prayer is the vehicle. Woo! Faith is the gas, but prayer is the vehicle. And he let us know that it's um, that even though prayer is the vehicle, we can't get to where we're going without the gas of faith. So if we don't have faith, we can't go nowhere. And, I, I, you know, how many of you know that we can ask God for something but not ask in faith? Yeah, that's the reason why sometimes we our prayers are not going anywhere because 
We're not asking in faith. But it's faith, praise God, that moves our prayers to God. So it's important, praise God, as Pastor shared with us earlier, that we pray the prayer of faith. Yes. You know, in James chapter 5, verse 15, it says, it says, And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. James 5, 15. So God, yes, James 5 and 15. So God is concerned about the total man. And that's the reason why we have to pray, as Pastor said, pray the prayer of faith and believe that we receive when we pray. Not after we pray, but while we're praying, we have to believe while we're praying. Praise God. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Y'all remember when um, I read earlier in Luke 17, I believe it was Luke 17, verses 11 through 19. You remember when the apostle, he came up to Jesus and he said in the scripture, he said, Master, give us more faith. And the master said to him, he said, you don't need more faith. Somebody needs to know on tonight that you do not need more faith because there is no more or no less in faith. Hear what I'm saying? There is no more or no less in faith. Jesus says that if you have, remember when we read the scripture earlier, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed. Yes. If you have a bare kernel of faith. My God. The size of a poppy seed, praise God. You can say to that sycamore tree, go jump in the lake and it will have to do it. You can tell your problem. Come on, somebody. That situation. Yes. To go jump in the lake. Yes. And it has to do it. Yeah. But you have to make sure that you pray the prayer of faith. You got to make sure that you're standing on the word of yes. God. The, 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 we say, we're saying that faith is the active ingredient. We're mm -hmm. saying that faith is the gas that fuels the vehicle. Mm -hmm. We're saying all these things about faith. But the, but the foundational thing, the principal thing, come on somebody, mm -hmm. if you will, has to be that you're standing on the word. Your faith is not going to be founded true mm -hmm. if it's not based in the word of God. Come on, sir. This is where our faith has to be founded yes. at. And yes. when we, this is the reason why you could tell the sycamore tree, the reason why you could tell your problem, the reason why Jesus in Matthew, yes. the fourth chapter, told Satan to his Come face, on, sir. get thee behind me. Oh, my God. This is the reason why he could tell Peter that, excuse me, to tell Peter, get thee behind me, mm -hmm. Satan. When the devil rises up, you can speak to him in faith and tell the devil what to do in your life. You can put the devil under arrest. Oh, my God. This is good. With the word of God and your faith in the word. You can speak to the problem. I'm, I'm going to preach Sunday. The problem solving God. God yes, is, is a problem solving God. Yes, he is. God is the answer to every one of our problems. Yes. The, the issue is, do we want to use him? We talking about faith is the key and, and prayer unlocks the door. But do we want to get inside? Come on, Pastor. See, because God wants to let us inside. But if we don't use the principle, the foundational things of God, too many of us are trying to get deep. See, I think that's a big problem we have. We try to get deep. I'm not, I don't have to have a theological dissertation, uh, me and Lady Whitley here, to explain faith Thank to you, you. tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have to show that I went to, to Bible college to mm -hmm. explain faith to you mm -hmm. tonight. Jesus said, except you come unto me like one of these. And he put his yeah, hand down on a child. Time. He said, except you come to me like one of these, you know wise, you know way will be able to get into heaven. you got to understand, to get to God, to, to, to activate the principal things of God, it's not some hard thing. For To be saved, to live holy, is not some astronomical thing. These are principal things that God wants us to do. We've made it hard. God said, I didn't make it hard like that. Yeah, to get to get saved, they used to. I thought when I was coming up as a young child, to get saved, you had to turn three somersaults and two backwards flips. No, no, people made it hard. I had somebody standing behind me, somebody standing in front of me. One person said, let go. Somebody said, hold on. I didn't know what I was letting go of. I neither did I know what I was letting go of. But it is not that hard. The Bible says simply believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. You got to believe it. So that same faith, I realized that that same faith that saved me, oh my God, can save me again. Yes. 
<laughs> Glory to God. That same faith can also help me with the issues, problems, and situations of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same faith. It has not changed. God said, go back to the principal thing. That thing when you got saved. Some of us need to go back to when we got saved. And let me help you tonight. If you don't know when you got saved, it's a pretty good estimation that you may not be saved. Don't you know when you were born? Come on. You really don't know when you was born. I'm talking about born naturally. We just know you was a baby. <laughs> Hello, somebody. But how do we know? Because our faith is in mom and daddy, and they told us we were born mm -hmm, on this day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, our faith mm -hmm. is in them. We, we don't know for certain if that's the day I was born on or not. But because mom and daddy told us we were born that day, we, we just, that's my birthday. Well, as it is with your Christian birthday, I'm trying to help somebody today. When you, when you confess with your mouth and believed in your heart, that day you got saved, you should have put that on the calendar. Because that's your Christian yes. birthday. And you should yes. never forget the day I was born. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. The day that faith saved Save. me. Woo! By grace. Come on, son. <laughs> Through faith. Come my on. God. Come Woo! on, come on, son. Glory to God. I should never forget the day that faith saved me. Mm -hmm. The day that faith saved me. I never should forget that day. So as it is with our faith, our faith is an action word. Our faith, our faith should be seen when uh, the faith is visible. And I didn't know yes, this until is. I read the scripture. But <clears throat> there were these men bringing this uh, uh, paralegic man, or a man mm -hmm. that was paralyzed on a on a what we would call a gurney, uh, and mm -hmm. they were a stretcher. They were bringing him to the place Jesus was preaching at, yes. but the place was so crowded uh -huh. that they couldn't get him. They couldn't get him in to the place. Uh -huh. So they heisted the man on the roof of the building, yes. and they lowered the man down into the church yes. where Jesus was preaching. And the Bible says, and Jesus saw. Their, their faith. faith. Oh yes, my sir, God. Oh, I'm trying to show you he tonight. Said it. it said Jesus saw yes. their faith. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Mark 2 and 5. I can't just say that and y'all, I don't show it to you. Let's go to Mark 2 and 5. This Bible study. I want to show it to you because Jesus saw their faith. Their faith was evident. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, their faith was evident, y'all. Mark 2 and 5 says this right here. Well, let me just bag up, give it, give you a little bit more. <laughs> two and two and three said, and they came unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto the place for the press, the crowd was so big, mm -hmm. they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they broke the roof up in that place. <laughs> and they let the bed that the man was laying on were in that he was sick on. And the Bible says, when Jesus saw their faith, saw their faith. he said unto the man that was on the gurney, Come on, sir. Son, thy sins have been forgiven thee. Come on, Oh, Pastor. my God. Now, when the Bible says he saw their faith, it wasn't a man on the gurney of faith it. that he saw. That's he it. saw his friend's faith. Come they on. had enough faith to believe that we could get him to the place where Jesus is at. My God, my God. If he could just get to the place where he at. He'll be healed. Yes. And the Bible said Jesus saw their faith. Yes. Not that man on the gun. Yes. That man on the gun said, I'm already hurt. I'm Y'all about to drop me. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Glory to God. But they lowered him down and Jesus saw their faith. He told that man on the stretch, he said, all of a sudden, your, your sins have been forgiven. Glory to God. Woo, now that's some faith right yes. there. That's faith in action. In action. That's faith in action. You know, Pastor was talking about the word of God and God, he does. He gives us the tools. He gives us the yes. materials. He gives us the directions that we need. But guess what? It's up to us to read it. It's up to us to seek and it's up to us to obey. You yes. know, God is not, God is a gentleman yes. and he's not going to force you and I to do anything. You know, our faith in God, you know, faith in God is not built on upon ability, but it is based upon diligence and availability. In 2 Timothy, this is what the word of God says. In 2 Timothy 2 and 2, it says here, it says, and the things, let me go back and read verse 1. The, thou therefore, thou therefore, my son, that's not gender bender, Second Timothy. be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of, of me, me among many witnesses, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the same commit thou to faithful men yes. 
who shall be able to teach, or I would like to say available to be taught, so they could be able to teach or available to be taught, and also able to teach others. So, in other words, we call that fat. Faithful, yeah. able, or available yes. to teach or to be teachable, mm -hmm. depending upon where <clears throat> you are in your faith. Paul was teaching Timothy to uh, entrust this word to fat people, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. to fat people, people that were faithful, available, and teachable. Mm -hmm. See, because many times we are teaching when we need to be taught. Talk. Amen. Mm. And it's through humility. It's through humility that we receive from God. It's yes. not by our education. It's through his revelation that we receive from God. Yeah. You can't get this at school. You got to go. You got to get in the word to get this. That's it. You, you get this from God. Yes. When Peter <clears throat> in Matthew, when Jesus asked the disciples, whom do men say that I am? This is the faith that Peter had. Uh -huh. Peter had so much faith that all the other disciples, they all said, oh, Elijah, one of the prophets, mm -hmm. we, we don't know. Mm -hmm. He said, well, who do you say that I am? Yes. And, and, and before any of them could answer, Peter spoke up. And Peter said, thou art the Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus immediately told Peter, you did answer right. Go to the front of the class. You get a star by your name. But mm -hmm. he said, flesh and blood didn't give you that. Your yes. education didn't get that to yes. you, Peter. You yes. had to get that through revelation. Yes. See, it's not about how smart you are. It's not about how much education you have. It's about how much of him do you have. Oh, my God. How much of him? And he was telling Peter here, uh, excuse me, Paul was telling Timothy here in 2 Timothy 2, he was telling him, this word here has to be entrusted to fat people. Fat people. People that are faithful, available, and teachable. That's what the church needs. Yes. That's what the body of Christ needs. People that are fat, faithful, available, and teachable. Or faithful, able, and faithful, <laughs> yeah. able to teach. You got to know... You got to know if you fit that category. Yes. Somebody say, I don't want to be fat. No, when it comes to Christ and come to this, you want to be a fat person. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you yes. want to be fat. I want to be faithful. I want to be available. I want to be able to do it. It's just some things I'm not able to do. But, in, but I got to do what I can until I get what I need. That's it. <laughs> you got to work with what you got. <laughs> Glory to God. And recognize when you're working your measure of faith, know that it is his power and it's his ability. Mm. But you and I got to put in the sweat equity. Come on. We oh, got to that's do the good. work. That's, that's why good. they say faith and works. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He said you got to have faith, yes. but you but you yes. also got to do some work. You got to do some work. We got My pastor mm -hmm. used to say, my, my late pastor used to say, let's get some work done. Yeah. <laughs> let's get some work done. We do yes. a whole lot of talking and, and, and faith does speak yes. but after faith speak what did i tell you faith does, faith something. does something oh come on somebody uh -huh. and then what does it do it gives, faith gives something. something come on now that's it your time your talents or your, your treasures. treasures them that's what yes. faith is faith faith does three things faith speaks faith does something and the third thing faith does it gives something it either gives time it gives talent or it gives treasures or it gives a combination of all three but Amen. faith does it that's how people, people that's in faith, that's why it's no problem for people that are really in faith to give. <laughs> you can't get over on me because it ain't me that you get. I was tripping one time and God said, they ain't getting over on you because <laughs> you ain't got it. <laughs> come on, sir. Come on, come on, come he on. He said, it's me. He said, everything you got, I gave you. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And when I realized that my faith has to be in him and what he has and not in me and what I think I have. He said, son, you just a steward. That yeah. ain't yours. Yeah. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. mine. <laughs> and at any time, I can require back what belongs to me. See, this is this is faith. And this is really understanding the real principle of things. This is understanding really the natural order of things. Everything. The, the Bible says it like this in Psalms 24 and 1. It says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then it don't stop there. It say, and they that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Everything belongs to God. He says, oh, mine. I didn't put you over these things. I didn't. Get, that's the reason why much is given, much is required. Yes, sir. <laughs> much given, much is required. Yes. Mm, glory to God. You know, God gave us our faith, and outside of that, you know, it's no man's actions that's going to be able to do anything for us. God is the one that gave it to us, and so 
you know, um, our faith, of course, we know it's going to be tested. We know our faith is going to be tried. Yes. Um, we see many circumstances in the Bible where there were difficulties that many of them went through. But it is imperative that we have faith in God. Mm. And so as we prepare to end this session on tonight, just know, praise God, that faith works. Faith works. You just got to work your faith. And work that measure of faith that God has given to you. Because again, God wants you and I to go from faith to faith. Mm. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you all again. Of course, you know, we have our Sunday online um, service at 12 noon Central Standard Time. Same time, same place. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful and thankful, God. We honor you, O oh God, on tonight, O oh God, with our submission, O oh God, to hearing, doing your word, and then stepping out by faith, O oh God, and trusting you. Lord, we are thankful and grateful for those that have come to join us on tonight for Bible study. Father, we ask that you would bless them, O oh God, to grow in their faith, to go from faith to to great faith, to greater faith, Lord yes. God. Increase, O oh God, their, their desire to do your will, their obedience and their submission, O oh God. Give them to humble themselves, O oh God, and to say what you say and then watch what you do. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. God, we pray for those that have heard this word. If they do not know you in the pardon of their sins, God, that they will trust and believe, oh God, that you desire for them, oh God, to come, Lord, unto you, oh God, and to become part of a greater faith, Lord. We thank and we praise you right now for that backslider that he or she can realize and know that, God, you still love them and they just have to trust you and return yes. by faith, Father God. For those that need this indwelling of the Holy Spirit, God, it's a gift just like anything else like our salvation yes. lord god even our faith you gave us god and so lord god you will give the gift of the holy spirit and father we ask for those that don't have a place of worship we would love for you to partner with us we would love for you to join us if you're in our local area or to continue to follow us praise god on our facebook even channel. if you're not in this area amen, amen. share and this we, word and share this word we're grateful and we're thankful in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'll see you on Sunday, 12 noon, God Central bless you. Standard Time. God bless.